Hello, welcome to the Chris episode. The weapon of the Pandeka, the weapon of the Silat warrior. Chris is one of the oldest Malay weapon. It evolved since the first century from a knife, from a piece of balati, so from a household tool to become the weapon of destruction. Its combative methods evolved from, from the first century Kada Empire to the 7th century Sri Vijaya and the 11th century Majapahit and last but not least the 15th century Malacca Empire. Chris originated from the Malay world, Nusantara. No, it is not from India, not from China. It is uniquely Malay. There are two types of Chris. The Lok, which is the curved one, and the Ana Alang, which is the straight one. There are several theories to the shape of the Chris. One is the Stingray's tower. When a Stingray is moving, you can see the lock, the curves, just as the stingray moves. When the stingray is still, the town is straight, and that's where we get a straight Chris. It is also believed that the first Chris is made out of a poisonous stingray bark. Another theory claims that it takes the shape of a swimming sea dragon. Whatever the theories are, the Chris is a sophisticated weapon. It's five weapons in one. Alright, let's talk about the anatomy of the Chris. Now, first is the blade, yeah? The blade. Now, the top part is sharp and both sides are also sharp so you can stab and slash like the pisau belati like the knife all right the second half of the blade is thicker and also sharp so you can cut or hack like the sword or the param or the machete all right now this is very unique this is called the arin the arin is a combination of a dagger and also a crumbling where he used to cut or tear you know, the face, neck, you know, in close range. Meaning you can stab with this and tear with this. Now, here's another one. Yep. It is called Balalai Gaja or the right translation is uh, uh, elephant trunk. Elephant trunk. Now, same thing. It's also used to cut the throat or if you like the skin on the throat and use the whole blade to slash it open. Okay, so you have one weapon, two weapons, three, four, and here we go, the last one, the ulu, the handle, is used for hacking, hammering. Yeah, so there you are, five weapons in one. All right, let's do the first technique, the first part of the crease for this episode. Bounce to the face, cut along the hand, uppercut under, into the throat, and up. Move in close, turn around feet, slash, stab. Right? One more time, very slowly. Come to me, into the side, catch, hit, into the throat, cut along, pull, uppercut into the throat, trap the head, cut across, put it into the stomach. Right, let's move on to the next technique, for number two. All right, for today, we'll have Zai here with a parang. Alright? Alright, let's do it very slowly now. Very slowly, Zai. Alright, come to me. Yeah. Alright, now, move away. One more time. Move away, take the hand, the neck, and the hand. Cut it. Okay, back into the roots. Now, put it out, hit, stab with the arm, push it out. 
One more time, very, very slowly. Again, from the same angle. So it comes to my head. Beam. So, move away. All right, one more time. So, move. You see, cut the neck and the hand. Step into the wrist. Move out, it just takes up. Shit, step with the Ari. Come closer, please. Ari. All right, and push. All right, here's another angle. Yeah, we'll do it very slowly. Come closer to me. Close the neck, slow down. Move. Come closer to me. I cut the neck and the hand, and I step into the body. Okay? Now, when I flick this out, I flick it up, I hit. Then I step using the R ring into the neck. Then. Yep. Then I just cut through. All right, I hope you enjoyed the Chris episode. Now don't forget to subscribe to the Harimau Brantai TV. I see you at the seminar. Sit, sit.